Welcome to Movie Phone Unscripted. I'm Samantha Mathis, and I am here with the Trevor Morgan at the Tribeca Film Festival for our film Local Color. And uh, we're going to interview each other. And, uh, uh, evidently. With evidently. some questions from, from you all and some questions of our own. So I'll start with the first question. Um, Trevor. Did you do your own painting in the movie? That's a very professional way of asking that Thank question. Thank you. I think this might be my new line of business, actually. I'm going to throw the acting thing to, us, to the side and just be an interviewer. Yeah, well, yeah. all right. Did you, did you do your own painting in the movie? Um, no, no, I did not. Uh, actually, all the paintings in the film are our director, George Gallows. Did you do any sketching while we were shooting the movie? Um, George, is, George is left-handed, mm -hmm. so, I mean, it was obviously going to be hard to learn how to you know, paint just period and then learn how to paint left-handed was, was very hard. So I, 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 I saw him paint. I went over there and I, I asked to see him paint a picture so I could get his mannerisms down more so right. than uh, being actually worried about to do something really well because I don't, I don't know if I'd be able to pull it off. <laughs> what was the most difficult part of uh, making local color for you? Working with you. No. Thanks. <laughs> Thank you. Awesome. Uh, no. Wonderful to sit across. You know what? Yeah. I think um, actually this was one of the more easy experiences I've ever had. It was such, um, and I, I think this was probably the same for you. Um, there was such a great energy on on the movie, even though we did it in what three weeks? Eighteen days. Eighteen to days. Be exact. Extremely ambitious shoot and and super low budget. Um, really fly by the seat of your pants, but. Um, you know, George's energy was just so infectious. Well, you could see his passion from a mile away. Yeah, and so that made even the long days um, fly by. I, I'd say probably the hardest part of shooting the movie was the fact that we were down south in July, and it was just so hot and humid. And we were outside And a lot. we were outside, and there were a lot of mosquitoes. I remember a lot of spraying up with off. Oh, they had mosquitoes the size of there. So. Yeah, yeah. There was a lot of DEET and things of that nature, so that was probably the hardest part. Trevor, what is it like acting in a coming-of-age story uh, as you are too coming-of-age? Um, was it, could you have perspective on that? Or easier was it... to relate with the character, I'd say. Mm. Um... I mean, this, this, this story is about, I mean, this character, his journey is his search for validation when you're lost and you're not sure whether to, you know, what career he wants to do and what he wants to pursue. And um, he's not sure if he's doing the right thing and he's just searching for validation. And, and uh, you know, I could easily relate with that. Um, and that's the great thing about this movie, though, is, you know, older audiences, when they see it, you know, they, they remember that time when they were lost and... Now, you know, younger audiences as well also relate to it because they're going through the same thing. Right. So, I mean, it was, it was easy in, in a way of finding uh, something that I could relate to. Um, not the, that sounded like I meant the whole role was easy, which it wasn't. Oh, but well, clearly it was. No. Because you're very talented. <laughs> uh, you. Uh, ah, yeah. you. I got a question for you. Okay. Um, we kiss in the movie. How was I? Come on, hit me with it. You Give were me the good. truth. Give me, just hit me with it. You know, I remember that um, no you were punches. very respectful. There were some Altoids involved before the kiss. A lot. A lot. I A think lot. for both of us. Well, I had onions at lunch. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I, I, no complaints, Trevor. <laughs> All right, good. No complaints. Tell me, the three things I love about movies are? Uh, the three things that I love about movies are the art in it all how it can move pretty much anyone you know it brings people together um d different people in, in entirely different interest can can still share a common a common enjoyment and that's movies right that um i enjoy the 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 whole trip going out to movies mm. and um and I, it's always been sort of like a family thing for me so I associate a lot of a lot of movies with my family. So that that as well. So those three. Right. Three <laughs> things I love about movies are dot dot <laughs> dot. Um I love going to the movies like you. I love 
I love getting popcorn. I can't go to the movies without getting popcorn and M&Ms and a Diet Coke and sitting in a the theater and I have to get there for previews. But I love the, you know, coming together and sitting in the dark with people and watching a movie and the whole experience. That's why I don't think movie theaters will ever go away. I think people love to come together um, and be an audience and, and have the lights go down and everything get really quiet and then the magic of the screen lighting up and, and, and watching a story together. Um, I just, I love that experience. That's all the time we have. But thank you to Movie Phone for having us. And uh, thanks for watching and sending us in your questions. And um, thanks for asking the questions about local color, which we're here at the yes. Tribeca Film Festival. Go see it. Coming to a theater, hopefully. Near, near you. yeah. Very soon. Good answer. Goodbye. <laughs> all right, thanks. Bye.